obviously not happy with the results. I think there was large pockets of control and you could clearly see our style. Um, but over the 90 minutes in the final third is nowhere near good enough for the Rangers standard. Have to take into consideration it's our second game and we're coming into the game fatigued. Um, but you know the level of players we've got here today, uh, I expect us to create more and, and, and certainly get a couple of goals each half. So uh, disappointed in the results, quite frustrated with um, our final third play, but really happy with pockets and how certain individuals are going about the business. But um, you know there was there was another eight positives to take from today, and they're not here with us. Um, so. Um, it'll, all work itself, it'll all work itself out. Yeah. In terms of the, the fitness of your side, how pleased are you with that at this stage of pre-season? Well, we had a double session, I'm not sure, was it 48 hours ago? We've obviously travelled down here and stuff, so we expect the lads to be a little bit leggy. We expect them to be a little bit uh, goal shy at certain times. Um, but I wasn't happy with the level of quality in the final third. You know, our crossing from the sides weren't good enough. We had one or two decent deliveries. Um, you know, our creation, you know, we had a couple of real good 2v1 moments where we could have been better. Um, the goal we conceded is embarrassing from our level how we was last year. Um, people jumping out of the way of tackles, people being soft and weak, and um, we, I can't tolerate that. So um, as we move along, we'll um, we'll get stronger, we'll get better, and um, there'll be a be better level of performance. Um, so yeah, I mean it, it's quite frustrating to lose the game today, but big picture, the results not important at the moment. But um, the takeaway is where we have to improve certainly in the final third. A couple of guys getting their first 45 minutes of the season today, not least John Lundstrom. How pleased are you with what he's brought to the squad so far? Yeah, I thought for large parts of the first half, John Cruiser, you can see what he's going to give us. Um, I think he tired a little bit. Um, he's been pushed uh, really, really hard this week, so he definitely went into the game tired, but you can see his quality, you can see his presence on the pitch. He's only going to get better and better, so he was a positive for me today. Obviously getting Ryan, getting 45 minutes into to Ryan and Brandon's a positive as well, uh, although obviously the performances are not there from them too just yet. Um, so all in all, frustrating results. Um, we could have scored three or four first half, we could have scored a couple second half, um, but if you haven't got enough people who are going to provide quality and run into the box and want to score, you're not going to score enough. A whole week then running into Arsenal at Ibrox yeah. next Saturday, what are you wanting out of the guys this week? Well, look, I think the first two weeks, it's all about uh, minutes, it's all about getting people through it, it's all about uh, getting volume into the legs. But I think now, from Monday morning, we'll have a look at this game. And um, now it's about people impressing now and training to play, because now I'm going to pick teams for, for 60 minutes. So if you're not performing now, we can't carry anyone. Uh, the season's so important as we move along. Um, people need to impress now and play well. Um, otherwise, um, they're not going to get many minutes.